Hey everybody, it is time to go camping again, but we need to make a quick pass by the grocery store. We don't have anything to eat, so uh, well, we got a few things in there, but uh, not nearly enough. But anyway, I'm going to go get that done, and I'll catch back up with y'all in a little bit. Hey everybody, I found us a spot. We are in another open meadow type area. Well, we're not in there, but it's right beside us. But anyway... It's a beautiful spot. It's quiet up here. Not super far off the road. Now over that way, you kind of see how gray and whatever. The, I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not, but it's really gray over there. And that's over a ridge or two over there burning something. But anyway, I've been here for a few minutes. I was actually on the phone with one of my brothers and Got to piddling doing stuff and forgot, hey, I need to be taking some video here. But anyway, I got the truck here. Got a little bit of wood in the back. Got the rooftop tent set up. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a little bit of this set up. I got the stove out. We're going with the old school. That is a Coleman stove. It used to be a gas burning stove, you know, white gas. But I have switched it over to propane via this unit that i got from stansport it works great works like a regular propane stove it's just a good way to a number one save on money that coleman fuel and white gas that stuff is expensive but anyway that's what we're cooking on this go around that and i got the fire pit set up over there give you another little look at the area here there's been a hoot owl in one of these trees up here who seems like he's not that excited about where i have chose to set my camp up but <coughs> excuse me this area is really nice sorry about that sun y'all but i'll take the sun over the clouds any day but it's just real grassy area it's really nice Probably in a few months, you'd need a weed eater to camp here, but right now it's pretty good. I did get something in the old P.O. box on Saturday. Yeah, I got a new mattress or uh, an additional mattress for the rooftop tent. I'm going to climb up there and give y'all a look at it. It is a three inch memory foam, like a stiffer type memory foam. Anyway, I mean, it's a twin size. You can get it in uh, single, twin, twin, extra large. Let's see if I can get under here. Anyway, this is what the mattress looks like. It's kind of firm, but yet it's memory foam. So that coupled with the mattress that's already in here that should really up my comfort game quite a lot. And then uh, this, the rooftop tent will not shut with this mattress in it. So the mattress does roll up like a bed roll. It's got straps made onto it. And then it goes into a carrying bag. So it's not that big a deal. It's not any different than, I guess, stuffing that sleeping bag and stuff sack and putting it in the back of the truck. So anyway... So that should be pretty nice. And I'll let y'all know how comfortable it is. I haven't slept on it yet. I unboxed it all yesterday afternoon. And then it had a pretty good funky smell. You know how new mattresses like that, they come shipped all squished up. You have to take them out of the package and let them expand for a while. And then uh, it, you know, I, I read the paperwork that came with it about the warranty and that kind of stuff and it said that it will have a smell it needs to off gas for x number of hours so i just popped the rooftop tent threw it up there and left all the windows open well when i woke up this morning it was raining so i quickly threw on my shoes and ran out there luckily it had not rained inside the windows at all so i felt like that was a pretty good save but anyway i'll let y'all know in the morning how uh how comfortable it sleeps anyway i still got plenty of setting up to do i just wanted to let y'all see the campsite 
And I think if I walk over that direction, I can probably see the gravel road from up here. And I might do that in a little while. We'll take a walk over there after I finish getting set up. But anyway, that's where we are. And uh, I'll get back with y'all in just a little bit. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. I've taken a little time to build a fire here. Uh, it's a little bit chilly. The sun's kind of gone down where it's not shining right on me. So it's a little bit cool. It's supposed to get below freezing tonight, which would be a big change for us. It's been pretty warm around, and I don't think it's supposed to get really warm tomorrow, but we'll worry about that when tomorrow comes. But I had to put this green tarp up right there to keep the wind off of my Coleman stove. It was messing with my flame a little bit. I had me some coffee rolling over there. Got my water done, added the coffee to it, and now it's just kind of doing what coffee does till I go over there and smash it with a french press filter but uh trying to get some coals burnt down here i'm gonna grill some hamburgers in a little while might be dark before that fire gets right but we're still gonna do it i don't really feel like we've eaten a whole lot today so kind of getting hungry but uh man this is one of the nicer spots i've been to in quite some time i kind of like it really quiet but and i did walk over that way just a little bit Look down, you can see the road. I haven't heard any road noise yet, but you can see the road pretty good. Just one little section of it. But there's quite a lot of woods between here and there. Another month or so, you won't be able to see that road for nothing. But this is a, a decent area. When I first came in, I drove back up over the hill and down that way in some different spots. But this, for some reason, when I drove past this, it just looked really inviting. So here we are. I have some... Uh, some salsa and chips and stuff to go with the hamburgers. It's been a long time since I had a, a real hamburger. But anyway, we'll cook those up on the grill in a little bit. And we're just going to enjoy ourselves, have a real relaxing time. Nothing super pressing. I'm excited to uh, try out that new mattress tonight, see how that does. Not that the other one was totally uncomfortable, but you got to understand at home, I have a big fluffy mattress with a lot of memory foam on it and it's very nice you know it sleeps really well so when i come camping especially if i'm in the rooftop tent now in the trailer there's eight inches of memory foam in there so that's like sleeping on a cloud so i needed to up my game a little bit every now and then i'd wake up just a little stiff in that rooftop tent and i've got quite a few nights in there now and i, I have to say that it has really treated me well. It was a great addition to my camping stuff. You know, I'm a, I'm a fan of the Bama Car Company and their rooftop tents because their their budget. You know, that same tent in a a name brand model would be three thousand dollars or more, and that one is you know a lot of times you can catch them with a a, a coupon on Amazon for you know nine hundred dollars. So. And it gets you up off the ground. You don't have anything to worry about if you're in a, an area that has a lot of ants or snakes or anything of that nature. You know, there is a huge benefit to being up off the ground when you're camping. You know, and I've never really had that benefit. You know, I've slept in the back of my truck a bunch of times with nothing covering me. But, you know, that's not much fun either. But having that tent's a real game changer. And they do make an insulated inner part for it you know it's just like having another tent inside that one it goes along the walls and uh, I have never used one but I do believe that uh, Brian Waters outdoors I think he had one for his rooftop tent and it's, it seems to me that he really liked it so you know if I ever happen to get into a climate where my diesel heater has trouble keeping up you know that may be an option for me but here it doesn't really get that cold you know that I run that diesel heater on low when I'm in that tent in the wintertime and, you know, it's too hot. You know, you sleep in there without even using covers. So I don't know what kind of climate you would need to be in, you know, because that's, I'm talking about down in the probably teens, high teens, early 20s is what it got down to when I was camping with that this winter. You know, there were some nights it was pretty cold outside, but in there you wouldn't know it, especially with that uh, that diesel heater. 
you know, I've watched many, many videos on diesel heaters. And, you know, some people have great luck with them. And some people, it seems like they get a lemon every time. So, you know, it's, as far as I'm concerned, it's a 50-50 shot with them, you know. I've had great luck with mine. I've used it a lot this winter. And, you know, and I, when I'm watching those videos, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, people telling, you know, how they what they've done to uh you know to combat this problem or that problem i've never had any problems with mine this has just been straight out of the box really good to go and it's they're so easy on fuel you know this fuel's pretty expensive around here but you know it it'll burn all night and half the day on one tank of fuel and i have the one that does not have a separate fuel tank so it doesn't hold this much and it's still you get you know 10 or 14 hours of runtime on it so i don't i see no problem with that and hopefully i haven't jinxed myself by you know giving it a big thumbs up like that. i think mine is made by i don't know it starts with an s I'll, I'll look it up and i'll put it up at the top of this video so i won't look so crazy but i know a lot of people have trouble with them and i hate that for them because i've had really good really good luck with mine so and i hope i continue to have good luck with it i don't want a lot of problems but you know it's it's basically just a creature comfort for me you know i camped out oh i don't know right at the end of winter i didn't even bring any heat source whatsoever and it was down in the 20s 25 26 whatever i have a zero degree sleeping bag and that was really all i needed because once i get up as long as we don't have gale force winds i'm building a fire and making coffee and getting warm and all of that so i don't really i guess i don't absolutely need heat but you know it is nice to have when you wake up you can get dressed and it's all warm and toasty like that but i don't know it's whatever you get used to i guess but anyway we got our fire going good. My coffee should be ready to go over there, so I'm going to let y'all go. And uh, when it's time to cook some hamburgers, I'll bring you right back. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. I got these hamburgers over here flaming up. I'm going to set each one of them a little bit to the side, just off of the flames. I was just cooking them over the, the uh, fire itself, or over some coals, but my my coal started dying out, so I uh, had to throw a couple more sticks on there to keep my fire alive. So then the flames got to biting them. So anyway, we're going to get a little barbecue sauce on here. And then let that caramelize just a little bit. It's a lot later than I wanted to eat, but, you know, since we ain't really on a big time schedule, don't matter. I actually took a pretty good nap today, which I didn't know if I was maybe coming down with a little something or, or what the problem was, but I was just tired. And I slept decent last night. Got up kind of early, but it wasn't, that's nothing out of the ordinary for me. All right, I think I told y'all earlier, I had some uh, chips and salsa to go along with these hamburgers. So that's what we'll be dining on, hamburgers, chips and salsa. I got some cheese cut over here I'm going to put on them. It, uh. I think that'll do us. Yep, so everything, like I said, everything's coming along good. It's getting pretty cool out of here. Wind is still coming through just a little bit. It's not horrible. It's not near as bad as what it has been. But uh, lucky us. We're able to have a nice fire. And quick as these hamburgers get done, I'll pull that grill off there and, <clears throat> excuse me, and build that fire back up.
or I might leave it on there, give it a chance to burn off all that stuff from them hamburgers on there. I think I might put my cheese on there now while well, I ain't busy doing anything. Cut that old cheese kind of thick. Might be a minute trying to melt that stuff. I ain't really going to eat four hamburgers, but I will have some left over for tomorrow's lunch, I guess. Save me the trouble of making lunch. Anyway, I will uh, finish cooking these bad boys, and I will get back with y'all in just a little bit. Hey everybody, supper was good. It's been a minute since I had a grilled hamburger and it turned out really well. But it is about 10 o'clock, so that is my bedtime. I'm going to go turn on a western of some kind and let it watch me till I fall asleep. And I guess I will see y'all right back in this very spot for breakfast in the morning. Good morning, boys and girls. It is pretty chilly this morning about 30 degrees and we've got a little bit of daylight starting to come over the horizon there I've been up for a while got some uh, I just got the coffee almost ready over there we got us a nice fire going here just just a small breeze this morning. It's not bad at all. It is a little chilly, but it's not as bad as it could be. That fire is sure nice. Coffee will be done in just about three minutes. And we'll be sitting by that fire drinking coffee, watching the sun come up right over there. Anyway, I just wanted to say good morning. I'm going to... Uh, Continue doing what I'm doing, and I'll see y'all again by the fire. Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful morning. Birds are singing. The fire's nice and hot. Coffee's nice and hot. The sun's coming up behind y'all. I tell you what, I was nice and toasty under my sleeping bag. That new mattress worked out really well. I slept like a baby up there. Right up until them hoot owls started hooting in my ears this morning about I don't know, it was around somewhere between 4.30 and 5. I mean, them hoot owls was lit up. And, you know, in that rooftop tent, you're seven feet off the ground. You're up there where the hoot owls are. So it was very loud in there. So I got up, uh, put some coffee on, and got this fire rolling. <clears throat> and it's just been a beautiful morning so far. fire feels good I think it's about 31 degrees now last time I checked so but I don't think it's supposed to get out of the 40s today it's, I think the high is in the high 40s but that's a big difference from where we've been for the last little while anyway we've had some pretty pretty nice warm days quite a bit of sunshine been pretty nice but <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna stay again tonight, I guess, just because it's supposed to get real cold tonight. But I think we'll be just fine. We got plenty of 
warm stuff to sleep under. And I think I still got some long johns in my truck. So we ain't going to get cold sleeping, that's for sure. I didn't bring any heat again. Just because. Heat, heat in your tent just make you lazy. <laughs> not really, make you not want to get up and get out here and get a fire going, that's for sure. But anyway, I am going to continue this same thing I'm doing right here until it gets real good in daylight. And then uh, I'll bring y'all back. We'll make a little breakfast around here. All right, kids, let's get some bacon going here. Get the skillet all heated up. Find my fork here. Man, y'all don't let that sunshine fool you. It's plenty chilly out here still. Good thing we got this fire to work with. Nothing like some bacon sizzle. Hot boys and girl, burning my hand. All right.
Hey everybody, welcome back. We got a few things going on here. <clears throat> Getting prepared for for supper. So what's on the menu is chicken Alfredo, grilled chicken Alfredo pizza in the Dutch oven. That is what we're having tonight. I tried to get a little seasoning on here while it was still in the package, but I missed a lick. Didn't get much of it seasoned, but it's all right. I brought the seasoning with me. Now, I ain't quite sure what they've done to me here. We don't want to lose no chicken now. All right. So we'll put that guy over there. Set him right there. Get our old friend Tony out here. And we'll crack a little salt and pepper on there to go with that. I hope everybody's having a good day so far. I am. No complaints so far anyway. What do I have to complain about? Nothing. Oh, man. It sure put them lids on there good, but it sure keeps it from uh, coming loose inside my camp box, you know. I have had salt and pepper shakers come open in there and make a mess for me to clean up, but it's all right. All right, so... The Alfredo sauce is, I can't tell you the, the name of it. Is it Bortelli? I don't know. It's something Italian, I reckon. And then uh, this more dead chicken from Tyson's. And the pizza crust is, I guess, it's already kind of pre-cooked, I guess. I got it at Walmart. I mean, this is... A, kind of a simple stupid plug and play kind of pizza but I didn't really feel like fooling with regular pizza dough and all that stuff and it was kind of a last minute thought my wife had mentioned something about cooking pizza you know while I'm camping and I thought man that'd be just a big old headache so when I was shopping I saw that pizza crust I said now that might make it a little more doable but I try to steer away from tomato-based things as much as I can. You know, I do eat chili and spaghetti on occasion. You know, I just try not to do it a lot because it makes my stomach hurt. But uh, I thought, man, I get some chicken. I could do a chicken Alfredo pizza. And I meant to get a lot of things. I meant to get some spinach to go on it and all of that. And I just totally spaced it off. I never bring everything i intend to bring but i did have a can of uh, hatch green chilies so i put those in the alfredo sauce that should help the pizza some you know old cowboy kent rollins he swears by them hatch green chilies and i'm right with him on that boy they're really pretty good but once this chicken gets done grilling i'm gonna put it into the alfredo sauce and kind of bust it up some and let it cook down for a while and then I'll uh, trim that pizza crust to fit my Dutch oven. And I'll throw it up here and then put some of them coals and logs and things on top of it so the cheese will melt. And we, we should have a pizza by the time it's all said and done. I don't know if it'll be any good, but it'll be what we made. And I'm going to eat it because, you know, I'm hungry. I've been trying to steer clear of the high carb stuff and like bread and pizza dough and donuts and that kind of stuff you know but i'm gonna make an exception tonight or today it's i don't know it's still fairly early it's not even four o'clock yet but i figured if i didn't get started doing it i'd be out here doing it in the dark not that you know that's any big deal but 
every now and then it's nice to have a little daylight. Mm. I did just make me a fresh pot of coffee. I haven't had any since this morning. My brother stopped by and uh, shot the bull with me for, I don't know, I guess he was here an hour or something, maybe even more. We don't, uh, although we live relatively close together, we don't catch up a lot, but everybody's got life going on and this and that. And this is kind of the way it is. But, it's what they say. It be like that sometimes, I guess. I bet my old chicken's sticking. I should have put a little coconut oil on this bad boy before I before I put them on there. I guess I wasn't thinking with my dipstick, Jimmy. Doggone. Sure did, stick. But I already knew it was going to happen, so I'm not upset. Ooh, look at that. Old chicken's coming along good. Got some, uh, and some upcoming whoo -hoo, goodness gracious and some upcoming videos i'm gonna try to take this show on the road i'm not uh not exactly sure how all that's gonna work out but i'm gonna try to put it together we'll see not that i don't love it here it's just you know we'll go check out some other things to do <laughs> Oh, you know, I ain't really big on paid campgrounds. I know if y'all have watched my videos for very long, you've heard me whine about it many times, about paid campgrounds and blah, blah, blah. I'm sure some of y'all are sick of hearing it, but, you know, some paid campgrounds are pretty interesting. You know, not everybody likes to, you know, primitive camp like this, and I, I understand that. I get it. So every now and then I like to give it a little change of pace and go somewhere where other folks like to go. You know, it ain't all just about, well, I guess it is all about me. It's my channel, but I want everybody to enjoy it. That's really the only reason I do this is number one, I enjoy it and I want y'all to enjoy it too. How about that? Yeah, so everybody can enjoy it a little. <clears throat> oh, Lord. I tell you, it's been a, a cool, sunny day. You know, the wind has been quite nippy. I still got my heavy jacket on and a hoodie on under that. And just comfortable. I was able to take them insulated britches off, but when I step away from this fire, I question that decision quite a bit, too. It seems like it might not have been the smartest thing. But, what do you do? I think I'll probably bring my cutting board over here in a minute. I'm going to take this to dispose of it properly. I'll bring my cutting board over here. When that uh, chicken gets done, I'll chop it up right quick and throw it in that Alfredo sauce. You know, once that chicken gets done, this whole shooting match will come together pretty quick. I imagine. I imagine it will. I don't remember if I told y'all about the, the hoot owls this morning. You know, last night or yesterday afternoon when I got here, they was already out and squawking. And then last night they were screaming at the top of their lungs. And then this morning, that's what woke me up. There was a doggone hoot owl in the tree right above my rooftop tent. So they got something against me, but I get it. You know, I'm in their turf, their territory. There was more than one or two or three of them lit in these trees around here. That's one of the reasons I like to come out in primitive camp like this. I like to get out where the wildlife is. You know, it's uh, nothing to be up here and see three or four deer, some coyotes, and rabbits, and plenty of squirrels armadillos whatever you know there's a lot of wildlife up here 
and not a lot of people so you know they don't mind coming out that's one of the worst things about camping in a a paid campground is generally if you leave anything out if you forget something that's edible or is easily strode around there's going to be a coon or a possum or something get into your stuff and just tear it up you'll have you'll be picking up stuff picking up stuff for an hour when you get up but out like this you know they're not used to people leaving stuff laying around so it ain't really that big a deal yeah, it ain't that big a deal. I don't know. Over the years, maybe one or two times has anything ever gotten into my my garbage. Or you know, usually there ain't much of nothing in my car. I don't usually throw food in the garbage. You know, there'd be wrappers and stuff in there. But I was at uh, one campground it was last year. Every night I would forget to set my garbage bag over in the uh, garbage bag container thing and them doggone coons was messing my garbage up every night wouldn't be anything in there but you know maybe a can of this or can you know empty cans and maybe some packaging of some kind it was nothing that a, a coon should really be concerning himself with but they get in there and drag it around take a paper towel and tear it into shreds you know they can't stand to see a whole paper towel they gotta chew it up into little bits and just leave it laying around. Destructive little critters. They're just getting back at me. Cause when I was a kid, man, we coon hunted. That was uh that was a big thing for us all throughout high school. Well, one of the only ways we got any money, you know, my dad wasn't quick to dole out much money. So uh we made a lot of money coon hunting. But back then, you know, uh, coon hide was worth some money. You know, if we, uh, a large coon back then, well, I think it was 35 or $40. So it was, for some high school kids, that was pretty good money. And sometimes we'd go out and get eight or nine coons in a night. That's a lot of coons. That's a lot of skinning before school. But we made some good money. I worked at a gas station on the weekends full-time and then part-time after school during the week. But, you know, didn't pay much. That was, I can't tell you how many years ago, but I think I might have got $15 a day plus a sandwich and a cold drink of some kind, whatever they had in the cooler. You know, back then, every gas station wasn't a quickie mart. You know, they didn't. They didn't really carry much. They might have an old cooler full of Cokes and Mountain Dews or something, but you wasn't going to get much. Maybe a bag of chips and a microwave sandwich or something, but, which I usually took a zero on them sandwiches. They didn't taste too good to me anyway. But anyhow, you know, when you're young, you find a way to make some money when you need some. I remember when I was a real young kid, we used to walk the dick. There was... Just down the road, a little piece from where we lived, there was an old country store, and we'd walk them ditches up and down that road, finding Coke bottles. I think the, I think the deposit was ten cents back then. But well, we'd be on the hunt for some Coke bottles. We'd go down there and get us a Mountain Dew and a candy bar or something. We'd have a whole grocery sack full of Coke bottles. It's amazing how many people just ride down the road throwing a dime out. I think if they had a dollar deposit on, people would probably still throw them out. People don't make any sense. Anyway, boys and girls, we're going to let this cook along. When that chicken gets done, I'll bring y'all back and I'll chop it up and throw it in that Alfredo sauce. All right, y'all, I have switched gears on this pizza i have decided not to do it in the dutch oven because so i'd have to trim away too much of that crust so we're just doing it straight over the fire as good as we can that's good i'm gonna strategically 
place our cheese on here. I don't know how how well it's going to melt or not, but we're going to do what we can. This ought to do us all right, I think. Turned out to be more cheese than I thought. Whew. Keep turning our crust here. Stirring our stuff. Should probably get my spatula. What is it? Do, do, do. All right. Yeah, just, we just need to be able to keep this bad boy turning. We don't want to burn it, don't you know? But we do want it to be done. This pot ought to be just a lot of fun to clean. I cut up some uh, broccoli off camera because I kind of like broccoli with my Alfredo. Don't know if I like it on pizza or not, but that is yet to be determined. But we will be the first to know. And when I get done with this, I'll just cut that pizza right on this rack. I'll set it off to the side over here, and cut it, and just eat it right off of there. Yep. All right, time for the toppings, kids. Whew. This might be a pizza I have to eat with a fork. Might be the way this has to happen. Wow, burning my eyes. Cool. I believe that's about all the, the sauce it needs. Yeah, it's coming right along. Or maybe I should put it on that cutting board. As a thought. Let me go put this over here where I can put a lid on it. Oh yeah, looking good, looking good. All right, kids, I'm gonna slide this bad boy off on this cutting board. Like that's some kind of easy task. Whoo, look at here, look at here. Good times have come our way, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Set this down here for one second. And I will come get y'all off that tripod and let you look at that pizza before I destroy it or drop it on the ground. Y'all hang with me. All right, kids, that's the final product right there. I'm going to tie into this pizza, and I'll get back with y'all in a little while. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. 
<laughs> that pizza was phenomenal. That was really good. I'm glad I made that last second decision to uh, to make that. We are losing daylight super fast. I don't know if the camera is catching that very well. It has a, a tendency to make everything look lighter than it is. It's about 7.30, so we're losing light super fast. I probably will retire early tonight. I was up late last night. I could not fall asleep, doggone hoot owls hooting right outside my window. And then they woke me up super early, hooting outside my window. But anyway, uh, I'll probably, as soon as it gets good and dark and this fire burns down a little bit, I'm going to go try to watch a movie. And then uh, I guess I'll see y'all about breakfast time right here. I don't know if I'll do breakfast over the fire again tomorrow, if I'll do it on the Coleman. But we will definitely do breakfast and coffee before I start packing this dog and pony show up. But anyway, I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, y'all. It is another beautiful morning here at the campsite. Let me pan around here. Let y'all see the sunrise, or what's about to be the sunrise. It won't be up over that mountain for a little while. But sure is pretty. Woke up, it was a balmy 26 degrees. Hopefully, <clears throat> these kind of mornings are few and far between. It was a little chilly. But anyway, I've just been sitting here by my fire, drinking a little coffee, and enjoying my morning. It's going to be a little while before it gets daylight enough to be thinking about some coffee, but... Uh, or uh, not coffee. I've been thinking about coffee for about two hours, but uh, it'll be uh, light enough where we can cook a little breakfast probably. So anyway, I just wanted to say good morning, and I'll see y'all about breakfast time. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Got some sausage cooking away here. Oh, make a mess here. Trying to cook some sausage anyway. Whew. Yeah. About had decided against breakfast altogether, but then it hit me. So I guess we are going to cook some breakfast. The sun's up good and high now, so it's starting to warm up a little bit. Man, it was uh, it was chilly this morning for certain. Yep, but uh, it's not bad. It's a little after eight now. And I think it's supposed to get up somewhere in the high sixties today, so that should make for a pretty good day. Yes, sir. This is my favorite time of day. I really like mornings. Make a little coffee, cook a little breakfast. Yep, mornings are my favorite. But anyway, I'm going to continue on with this sausage. And I'll get back with y'all in a little bit. Y'all have no fear. I'll edit that right out. Boy, that'll make you mad first thing in the morning right there. Yeah. Blow on it. All right. I gotta get these sausages off of here. Yes, yeah, a 
looking bad, boys, over there. Yeah, we'll crack a couple of eggs in there and we'll be doing good. That seat don't try to throw me out. Boy, the eggs getting skinny, boys and girls. thing before we get into trouble. Yeah. This little fella has got a crack in his shell, so I don't think we can leave him alone. So we're looking at a three egg day here, boys and girls. Hey everybody, welcome back. We got everything wrapped up, packed up. Breakfast was good as usual. Uh, the new sleeping pad I had for the rooftop tent, that thing worked out perfect. Just the right amount of padding, not too much, uh, not too little. It was really good. Everything, man, we've had a million dollars worth of fun for three days in a campsite that didn't cost us a dime to be here. But, uh, Anyway, I enjoyed myself. I hope y'all enjoyed it too. It won't be too long before we're back out again as usual. Until then, I will see you guys in the woods. <laughs>